in order to start, um, you need to have um, a user profile on this page on fmod.com. So go ahead and register if you don't have any yet. Um, otherwise, go to just log in and go to download page and um, get your fmod st studio application, which is the desktop application for creating all your sound effects and, and you know, defining your music and all these kinds of things. And uh, make sure that this that you will remember the version number. Um, and uh, then go here to Unity integration and make sure to download the Unity package with the same version number. It's a, otherwise, they would not be compatible. This is how FMOS Studio looks like when you open it up. Um, just go ahead and click New Project and you you will find yourself in the event editor uh, which is one of the main windows here and in this window you are defining uh, events and uh, let's do a new 3d action event uh, which we can call let's say a blip and uh, now we want to do a new let's say 2d uh, 3d timeline event which we will call the atmosphere so what we want to do blip is going to be our one shot, uh, just a simple, simple beep. And then atmosphere is going to be something long lasting, uh, continuous loop of some sound. FMOS Studio allows you to define your sounds, but it it's not a production environment. So you need to use some other tool to, to create your sounds or just, you know, get them from somewhere or something. So I'll be using Reaper to create sounds. Um, I like using Reaper to do, do things and I'm just going to do a really quick Quick thing in here, I'm, uh, I'm going to instantiate a uh, resynth, which is a re really, really simple synthesizer, and I'm just going to create, create a simple blip sound. Yeah, that would be, it's gonna, it's maybe too, maybe too long. Great, now I have my super, super uninteresting blip, but it's going to, it's going to work, and I'm going to define a region, I'm going to call it region the blip, and I also need to make an atmosphere. I'm going to use um, something from, let's say, contact. I'm going to use, let's say, this evolved mutations, I'm going to use whatever, really, uh, used, fu used future, and I'm going to do, I just need to create something. Yeah. Synonymous. Yeah, that's going to work. It's going to work quite nicely. Um, now I'm going to make a region out of this thing as well. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do a region. I'm going to, going to call it atmosphere source. And uh, now I'm going to export both of them. Um, how to do that? Well, I go to file and render. And in this dialog, I can specify um, my output file names and uh, most importantly, my bounds of you know for export. Um, I'm going to say that I want to do project regions, and now I'm going to be exporting two regions, and I would like, um, and you know each re each region comes to a separate file, so I need to specify the file name. I can go here uh, and I choose uh, region wildcard, and this will ensure that. Uh, on my desktop, I would have these two files um, named according to their regions. And uh, now I have it. But I'm not done yet, um, and I'll show you why. Uh, well, this is my this is the atmosphere source that I just exported, and I'm just going to decrease the volume a little bit. Um, let's say minus 18 decibel. Um, the reason why it's, why we're not done yet is that. Um, it doesn't it doesn't loop because it starts here and here it just ends abruptly right it just go, it's just going to do like that's it right so we would like that from here I somehow get here and play it again but I cannot just loop it because it would sound awful so we essentially need to make uh, the loop sound better and one way of doing it is uh, making a duplicate of this track and now if I do this I essentially um, I essentially un unfolded the 
the loop so instead of playing just going back here I, I continue with playing the second copy of the same signal so it's going to essentially sound exactly the same exactly the you know same awful transition um, I'm going to do one thing I'm going to shift the second copy by two seconds uh, towards the uh, beginning of my session and I'm going to cut off its head and um, I'm going to do a fade in on this copy and fade out on this copy and what I now essentially have is when I'm playing from here I start playing here I'm playing 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 and here I essentially fade out the playback of the first copy and I bring in the second copy and when you look where I brought the second copy this this point in time is identical to this point in time for the signal right so if I do this I have a nice and smooth transition and then I can just loop this thing so let's hear how it sounds uh, so now we have a nice and endless loop which is completely seamless here all right so let's export it um, I'm going to make another region uh, out of this loop I'm going to call it atmosphere and um, in my render to file dialog I'm going to specify a source uh, to be the region render matrix and the reason why I'm doing it is when I click here the region matrix I only want to export this one region nothing else just just this one because I don't want to export these two I've, I've already done those two so by 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 doing this um, I just specify which region I want to export it could be useful if you have let's say I don't know 20 30 regions in your file you just want to be specific about that All right so one region is going to get exported it's going to be called atmosphere.wave render perfect now I have uh, both files ready to be imported to FMOD Studio first I'm gonna do the blip I'm just going to drop to the uh, actions tab of, uh, of blip event now I have a uh, blip event ready to go pretty much let's do atmosphere um, I need to drag and drop atmosphere uh, to the timeline of this event as well that's uh, kind of goes without saying but now I need to specify that it is a looping sound because uh, it wouldn't you know FMOS Studio wouldn't know that we meant this thing to be a looping sound so we, we're going to I'm going to right click here and I'm going to do add loop region I'm going to say that my loop is going to last exactly the same time as the as the as the file and now when I'm when I, when I start playing it just it's going to do the nice seamless loop but the onset is quite is quite, is quite abrupt and also when I stop playing the, you know the the event then the release is also going to be quite abrupt so I want to modulate it using a HDSR um, envelope uh, this envelope is going to control this volume so that when I start the volume is just going to go from zero to its maximum value and when I let go and I stop the event it will first decrease the volume gradually decrease the volume and, and only then it would stop so it now it's nice and nice and smooth really and I can I can modify the behavior of this of this envelope I can I can make it go faster I can make it go slower so I can make the, the onsets way way slower The same thing about the you know the release or I can make it super fast it's just a you know matter of a matter of taste all right so let's save this project I'm gonna save it on my desktop I'm gonna call it fmod in unity uh, demo let's say fmod dash in dash unity dash demo and um, 
this directory got created for us um, it contains the two audio files that I have imported as well as a bunch of metadata files those are XML files they would contain those parameters um, in machine readable form well now we have to do one very important thing we have to we have to assign these these events to a bank um, well there's only one bank initially this is very important for later when you have let's say hundreds of events uh, you might want to split them into different banks and load them in your game let's say you would have some sounds would be used only in some levels and when that level is not loaded you don't have to have those sounds loaded so you would put them into a different bank you know these kinds of things but now we only have one master uh, bank so I'm just going to assign both um, both events there and then we need to build the project by going to file and build and um, what it did for us it created this uh, directory build which contains um, these two files master bank and master strings bank and we will need both of these files in our unity project um, this file contains all our sounds uh, compressed um, the compression you can specify in uh, here you can go to preferences and build and uh, you click on this project platforms desktop which is uh, essentially windows for us uh, for this you know for now and you can specify the encoding format and you can specify the quality that you want to export uh, the, the thing you know if I if I increase the quality I will make the file slightly bigger than it was because now it contains you know better um, better quality of, of my audio meanwhile I created this uh, completely empty uh, project in unity to which I need to import uh, my FMO Studio integration so I'm just going to drag and drop this uh, package um, it's gonna do a bunch of uh, it's, yeah it has a bunch of bunch of files I'm just gonna hit import and uh, and this dialog will show up which is going to uh, walk me through the process so what do we have here start uh, next and here it offers me to link uh, our FMO Studio project I'm going to do that so I'm going to point um, I'm, go I'm going to show the path of our FMO Studio project that we that we want to import next and uh, yeah here I need to remove the unity audio listener which is present currently in the main camera it will be here and I don't want to use it because I, I want to use FMO Studio listener instead so I'm going to re re remove it um, right so I have replaced it uh, and now we can see the audio listener was replaced with the FMO studio listener uh, I want to disable the built-in audio and uh, yeah I don't have any unity audio sources here because this was uh, an empty empty project um, this is uh, this advises me to be careful with my source control uh, what files should not be ignored and uh, and yeah so pretty much everything is everything is done and so we can start adding um, FMO studio sounds to unity object so let's make an, uh, uh, an object let's make a cube and uh, let's attach FMO studio emitter on it and let's say that an event will be played when the object starts and uh, which object well we, we can find it here uh, let's say it's going to be the blip now uh, when we play the game we should we should hear the blip sound whenever this object appears yay all right let, let's uh let's uh let's try triggering our atmosphere so instead of uh playing blip we're gonna play the atmosphere and let's link the play event on uh you know to object enable event and stop event on uh, object disable and now when we play the game we should start we should hear our atmosphere that works and now I'm going to disable the the object so you can hear the uh, the atmosphere is going to s slowly fade away yeah 
yeah, so that's pretty much it for the very, very brief and basic primer on how to use FMOS Studio and Unity. Um, I do recommend that you go over this integration tutorial and um, there is a bunch of other com uh, concepts which are explained what kind of um, game components are available in Unity, uh, what API there is for you to use. And I thank you for your attention and see you.